show you the effects of tobacco products on oral health. It's not desirable to have your teeth rot. Teeth are very useful. They're not absolutely essential to live, but they suck when they're gone. If you don't have teeth, you can't chew. You have to eat mush. It's fun to chew. It's fun to eat food besides mush. Sure, we all like our mashed potatoes and maybe our puddings, but it's also nice to eat a burger, whether it's veggie or otherwise. Plus, in an appearance conscious world, if you have rotten teeth, it looks bad. I'm generally not super vain about my appearance, but I want nice looking teeth. Fortunately, I have had braces, and that has fixed my teeth. When I was younger, I didn't brush my teeth as well as I should have. But since then, I am brushing my teeth better. I may not have the teeth that ever become super, super duper white. But if I can at least keep them from rotting, then I'm doing a good job. I've heard the color of your teeth are partially genetic and partially due to how you take care of your teeth. If you drink a lot of coffee, your teeth might get stained. You can see that in some older people's teeth. If you eat a lot of junk food that's full of sugar, that can be bad for your teeth. I try to avoid that. Not just because of the teeth reason, but for other reasons. My body tries to eat healthily these days. I remember once going to my orthodontist and I didn't wear those rubber bands as well as I should have. So he had this sad look in his face, the puppy dog look almost. He said something along the lines. Your teeth aren't going to get better if you don't wear those. My regular dentist was more vocal. One time I didn't do a very good job brushing. So he ranted and raved about how kids aren't taking care of their teeth. So it wasn't just about me, it was about kids in general. What I used to hate about that dentist was sometimes the dentist would act as if nothing was wrong and then when he talked to my dad he would say I was doing a terrible job. My dentist not only ranted and raved about dental matters but he also ranted and raved about other matters. Once he saw me jogging on a super hot day so when we had our appointment, he was telling me how people in some places were dying from heat stroke. He said he should have pulled me off the road. He said, I was young once and I thought I was invincible. Actually, I don't think I'm invincible. I think the opposite. I feel fragile. These days, false teeth can look pretty normal. In times past, they couldn't. George Washington is well known for his false teeth made out of wood. I wish we still had false teeth made out of wood. George Washington was loyal to our country, but he wasn't loyal to toothbrushing, I guess. Or maybe it just was something out of his control that led to his false teeth made out of wood. These days, false teeth are generally white in color, and they are hard to notice. I have a partial false tooth. My tooth got chipped during the early years of college and the dentist put 
a part in the tooth. It wasn't the exact same color as the rest of the tooth, but it was close enough. Nobody's going to notice it. That's for sure. It's lasted a long time longer than the dentist said it would last. You hear people all the time talking about how society this day and age has gone to the sewer. It's not like the old days, they say. Usually when people say this, they're just ranting fools. Some people say this on a more micro scale. Others say this on a more macro scale. Some people are just thinking about their lives. They will say, when I was young, we would have never talked to our parents that way. We would have never done what kids these days are doing. Once somebody in one of my classes in graduate school was saying that, and I said, wait a minute. Because it's really nonsense. I've heard people younger than me say how it was so much better when they were young. My dear former boss, Kelly Wilkie, was once talking to another staff member. This staff member's kid skipped class and it sounded as if he really didn't get punished at the school because of it. This may have been really hard for Kelly Wilkie because she actually had to talk about somebody else. She is one of the most self-absorbed people I have ever met. She said, when I was in school, we didn't just come and go as we pleased. We had consequences. I think she's 26 now. And she said that about a year ago. So when she was in high school in the 90s, it was so much different than it was now. I think the fact that she said that really points out how ridiculous it is when people say society has rotted so much these days. I think part of the problem is people want to feel better about themselves. They only see the negative of the youth of today and then they have selective memory about the past. So by contrast, they feel like they are superior. Weird Al has a good song about this when I was your age. It ridicules the old mind. When I was your age... Jello Biafra also has a song about this called Nostalgia for an Age That Never Existed. About how people over-romanticize the past and make it into something it wasn't. I'm not suggesting that society doesn't change. In some ways it definitely does decline. But you have to be careful because if you're not, you look like a fool. A lot of people won't understand it, but you do look like a fool. I read this piece which pointed out people have been saying this forever, since antiquity. In this piece there was even a quote from Plato along the lines of the youth today are so disrespectful, they have such terrible manners, they're lazy, they have no work ethic, they're not like time of the past. So the fact that Plato a couple thousand years ago was saying that represents how society may not necessarily be getting worse, but people just keep thinking it is. There was one good article in Free Thought Today 